Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here, and today we're talking about a game called Clid the Snail. A rather interesting name, and I'll be honest, the first time I heard of this game, before even seeing it, when you hear the name, it's kind of the sort of thing that you immediately think, oh, it's going to be like a bright, colourful indie game. When in actual fact, it's quite, a, quite sort of dark and sombre, and it's definitely very different to what I imagined when I just simply heard the name. Even down to the logo, logo looks kind of like a Final Fantasy logo, which is kind of cool. But anyway, Clint the Snail is a top-down shooter, but the interesting thing about this one is that it is heavily narrative-driven. Normally, when you think about top-down shooters, maybe you think about roguelites or loot-based games, something like that, a kind of sort of bullet hell experience, which is much more about sort of the fast-paced action moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, and less so about the story, whereas Clint the Snail is a single player narrative driven experience. It is all about the story. The gameplay is still great. It is still, of course, what you would expect from top down shooters. But the primary factor here is telling a sort of compelling story through the perspective of the snail called Clint. Now, in the background, I've got some gameplay from the beginning of the game. This is, of course, a preview build, so I have access to a few more weapons than you would normally have. However, it gives me the opportunity to just sort of show you some of the gameplay and show you sort of how it plays out. I will say the world itself looks really, really nice. Like, I like the sort of atmosphere for it. And again, like, the actual character itself, clearly is like, he is fully weaponized. Like, everything he has on him, he is an absolute unit. But of course, as you're playing throughout the game, you do encounter a variety of different weapons. And most of that gameplay, I'll, of course, save for the boss battle, which I'll, of course, put towards the latter part of this video. Initially you start off with a bog standard sort of laser rifle which you can either fire or you can charge up but you've got things like shotguns, SMGs, you've got this sort of like toxic launcher, you've got grenades, you've got quite a lot of things at your disposal which of course makes for some fun combos because then when you're in you know in actual big battles you can start sort of linking these weapons together to make the most out of them. Now in terms of the actual experience itself a lot of you guys might be wondering you know how much is there to sort of explore in the world. It is largely speaking a linear game. There are of course things that you can can explore. You can kind of go slightly off the beaten track. There are some collectibles to find, a couple of sort of like puzzle elements to sort of navigate through. So there are still areas where you can go off the beaten track, but largely speaking, this is not an open world game. This is a much more linear experience because the focus again from the team, it was developed by a really small team as well, which was incredibly impressive, but the focus from the team is really to try and sort of tell this compelling story. There's also a variety of different sort of environments and biomes that you'll encounter as you play throughout the game. Of course, what you're seeing here is is largely speaking similar because of course this is the beginning of the game but you'll go through areas that are like swamps, deserts, mountains, islands and each quest will take you to a new location which of course gives you more things to discover, more characters to meet and of course more big gruesome bosses to battle. So if you like top-down shooters, you like sort of puzzle elements to them, and you of course like the narrative experience, then this may well be one worth checking out. But for the time being, I'm going to leave you guys with just a little bit of gameplay. I'm going to cut together a couple of different segments, because there's only so much I can show you right now, but I will of course give you a chance to enjoy the boss battle, because that shows off some of the different weapon mechanics, and shows off, uh, you know, some of what this game has to offer. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if this is something that you have been looking forward to checking out. And of course, enjoy the rest of the gameplay.
If you want to catch more from us at Arex Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.